So I got more of a sort of philosophical video to make today. And just to ward off some of the comments that I know I'm going to get as a response to this. Yeah, this, this is, what is what you guys, guys are, are arguing, arguing about. Okay. Whatever, who cares? This isn't about plastic instruments and video games. It's also not about drama. I'm not talking about anybody in particular here. I know that there's going to be some people who, who listen to this and think, oh, he made this video about me. Uh-uh. Try again. This is a much bigger issue, and this is the issue of gatekeeping and the way that it is the way that the rhythm game community is going to die. And I know that there is no huge rhythm game community. I know it's a bunch of smaller pockets, whatever. But this this is the way that the already minuscule amount of interest these kinds of games get. Any interest in these games is vital for their survival, and people continue to sit on, like I said, tools and information, and in some cases the work of dead people, as I don't even know what the, the point of it is, except I kind of do. It's a power play. Let me back up for a moment here. Like I said, I'm not talking about anybody in particular here. This is something that I've seen time and time again from several community members of especially the rock band scene being that it was built on the same engine as the harmonics guitar hero games there's a lot of overlap between them and as a result i've seen a whole lot of people especially in that scene who they will sit on the knowledge needed to make features work again in some cases the tools necessary to make entire customs and they they seem to do it with this sense of duty as if they're protecting something and usually it's under the auspices of protecting leaderboards or protecting harmonics's bottom line. Like I said, these games are dead in the water as far as their mod scenes go. These are games that are very scattered. They're things that are only played by a scant number of people. And despite that, there's still interest in them. There's still interest in this, this little scene that we have going on. So to give you a quick example of the kind of thing that I'm talking about, uh, for a long time in Milo Hacks, which is the server where a lot of this tends to go down in, uh, we had a private room for hacking Rock Band 4, which is the latest edition of, the, of course, the Harmonix Rock Band series. It's apparently how Harmonix makes their money. I don't know how that works because uh, everybody I know fucking hates the game, but uh, apparently that's how that works. But anyway, so... There was a lot of work that went into Rock Band 4 Customs and a lot of tools that they were working on in secret for uh, all sorts of things that they would have never re released, to be perfectly honest. Things like uh, decrypting DLC and uh, things that they wouldn't have released because they, they figured that the, the community couldn't handle them. The, the community would use them for less than ideal ends, which I guess raises the question of why you would bother making something like that in the first place, but I, I don't know. I, I, I guess I should have checked in there, but the, the point being that eventually somebody outright deleted the room, and now all of that work is lost. Uh, they have a, a, a cut-down suite, I think, for Rock Band 4 Customs, but it's, it's not the full extent of what happened, and I'm sure that a lot of what they figured out, a lot of what they did in there, is totally lost to the ether it's something that somebody still has on a hard drive somewhere or they have it on their google drive but you you wouldn't be able to ask them for it they wouldn't give it to you they would they would tell you to fuck off people don't realize this and again i don't want you to think this is about drama i don't give a fuck this goes way beyond people it's about people that i've never even met to be perfectly honest their ability to just go online and figure out how to do something like this to figure out how to mod these games it's, it's, a, it's a lot more than just, oh, I don't like this person, or oh, this person I don't like is going to use this tool as a, as a part of their project, so I'm not going to... It goes way beyond that, and it turns the entire thing into just petulant baby wars, essentially, at the end of the day. It's just a bunch of people who are so insulated and so comfortable and, and so degenerate that they think that they can withhold this, like I said, what keeps the scene going. The fact is, is that the main guy who was behind all of the information about hacking Rockman 4, at least one of the, the biggest players, Maxton, is dead now. We can't ask him for his work. He's gone. And these people are still sitting on it. And this, this continues to happen. I'm, again, I'm not naming names, but just tonight, 
We had somebody come in and ask about audition mode in Rock Band. In Milo Hacks, we had somebody ask about it. And somebody fucking responded and said, no, you can't have it. We know how to do it, but you can't have it. Go fuck yourself. On what planet do you respond to something like that? How do you not look at yourself and go, wow, I'm an asshole. I'm a gigantic fucking asshole for sitting on something that people legitimately want. Why? Because it... it, it something something fucking leaderboards something i don't understand it yeah i'm i'm a i'm a little extroverted i'm a little animated about this because as somebody who is actually a preservationist somebody who actually sits there and writes up tutorials for how to do stuff in guitar hero it doesn't even matter if th this game is dead it doesn't matter if after everybody is done with it with when deluxe is out and all of the people who modded it are you know out, off playing rock band 2 it doesn't matter i still want the information to be available because I was a fucking little ass kid. I was like 13, 14 years old when I got back into playing Guitar Hero 2 after a couple years of absence. And I realized something. Oh shit, I can make customs now. I wanted to do that ever since I was really little. Like literally like a six or seven year old kid right when the game blew up, I wanted to make customs. I couldn't. And I had to rely on old score hero posts. I had to rely on the most broken information possible. Sometimes shit that didn't even work anymore. Sometimes shit that was totally inaccurate. And that's been one of my goals is to try and, and uh, fix that. To try and make that so people don't have to rely on, on tools that don't work anymore or tools that are, you know, paid tools. That we have free alternatives or we have alternatives that are easily accessible. That is the spirit of preservation. I have an entire section on my site network, the Somnolescent Archives, which is for uploading obscure ISOs that is anybody interested in playing them? Maybe, maybe not. But I want people to have the option because that's actual preservation. And it pisses me off to no end when people who have a big dick about something call themselves preservationists and sit on valuable fucking information that could totally bring a renaissance to these fucking games. And they, they kill their own scenes in the process. Nobody gives a shit about modding the fucking Beatles rock band. Nobody. It's not a thing. Why is suddenly Guitar Hero 2 a thing again? Because Onyx. Because we have the tools now to make customs way easier than they ever were in the past. To wrap this entire gigantic rant up, if you, if you have, oh, I was sitting on this, but I wasn't sure if I should release it. Release it. What's, gonna, what's the worst that's going to happen? Don't get in the way of people doing what they want with these games. Don't get in the way of your scene having a second wind because you have some bizarre moral hang-up about it. I'm going to leave it at that. I've rambled enough. It, it, it is something that really pisses me and a lot of people around me off. And I figure if I don't say it, then nobody will. So I'll have something a little bit more positive and constructive for you guys soon enough. So thanks for listening.